We have another encounter by law enforcement. Sitting here at a church. Hello, sir. What's hey, up? Officer Simons, apparently at the police department. We got a call about a suspicious vehicle out here. Do you work here at the church or? Yeah, but I committed a crime. Do you have permission to be on this private property? This is private property? Yes, sir. It belongs to the church. Yes, sir. But it's private property that's open to the public. No, no, sir. My, my front yard's open with no fence around it, but you couldn't go park it in either. I wasn't so informed. I, I'm not trying to cause a confrontation with you. I'm just, it was called in of a, a suspicious person out here because it's on the, the church's area and they know it's closed. So do you have permission to be here? Who, who called it in? Do you have permission to be here, sir? I don't have permission to, to be, be here. I've been to this place several times before and I've never had any issues. So who called you? Uh, I guess a neighbor or someone. Okay, a neighbor or someone doesn't warrant them owning this property. Can nobody tell me to get off this church property because... Well, the church can sure tell you, yes, sir. Well, it wasn't church personnel who called you. You just said that it was a neighbor that called. That's not church personnel. Okay, so you don't have any permission to be here? I'm not answering any other questions because I haven't committed a crime. Well, it is a crime to be on someone's private property. Sir, am I, under lawful, am I under lawful arrest? No, no, you're free to leave. Okay, I, well... I'm not, the church has not told me to leave. You said a neighbor called. The neighbor does not own the church. Okay. Well, what's your name so I can tell when I call the church, I can find out if you have permission to be here or not. Am I under lawful arrest? No. Okay. I don't have to give that information, sir. You you sure don't. So you don't want to, you don't want to cooperate? I'm not giving any other information because I'm not bringing any laws. And then once they do, you can either leave or then you'll be criminally trespassing. Well, if the church says that I have to leave, then that's the, that'll be the case. Steady harassing. I'm sitting over here at the fourth <laughs> on the fourth of July in the church parking lot once again. And these people are still coming over here harassing me. Okay, I'm just laid back in my vehicle. As a matter of fact, let me um let me just get a better view. There's nobody in this parking lot. I've been at this church several times before. And this person is now trying to, I guess, get in contact with church personnel when he just said that the church is closed. So who could he possibly be getting in contact with to tell me to leave this property? They're trying to make it to where I have no safe haven or no place of rest or peace. They've already uh, informed me of other churches down the road that I've been to that supposedly said I couldn't be at that church and I had to leave those churches. So now it's this church now. So they're doing any and everything they can to cause me problems and to cause for me not to have any peace, no matter what I try to do. I'm just laid back, chilling in my car. Let me just get, you know, I still got my pillows and stuff out or whatever. I'm just relaxing, you know, being cool, calm and collected. And then here you have this officer that has come out here. And basically telling me that, oh, I can't be on the property. And the initial call wasn't about the church telling me to leave. He said a neighbor called. (laughs) He said a neighbor called. So any and everything they do to cause me problems. Uh, let me put my camera down for a second I gotta tie my drawstring on my shorts alright let me get the license plate number see just, just constant harassment constant harassment a church is supposed to be a place of sanctuary you know yes of course the church properties you know are, ch- are private properties and whatnot. But it's private properties that are open to the public, okay? I've been in this parking lot before, and I've seen other vehicles parked over here. So, I don't, this, obviously, this wasn't the church, church is doing. This dude is trying to find a means to get me off this property when I'm just sitting over here in peace. And this is, and then we have another, uh, a police vehicle that is showing up right now. So, we got two police units that are out here in reference to 
someone sitting in a church parking lot minding his own business not causing any problems or being a nuisance to anybody and he's backing up I don't know why he's backing up he's getting out of his vehicle I've already spoken to the other officer he just opened his door Let's see what kind of lie they come up with, who they're going to get in contact with on, what is today, Thursday? So again, the other officer has already spoken to me. We have this other one that's walking up right now. I've not committed no crime, so I'm not obligated to ID myself or give my name or anything like that. So I wish my, I hope my audio can pick up what they're saying. These people are butt hurt because they can't get to me the way that they want to get to me. The other officer has already spoken to me, so I don't know why he's coming over here now. How are you doing today? What's going on? Not much, man. How are you? Minding my own business. My own business. <laughs> and then we have a third vehicle that's showing up. This is a complete waste of tax taxpayers' money. All this, uh, all this attention for one person sitting in a church parking lot minding his own business. Oh, uh, were you going to say something? Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude or interrupt. No, I was just having a conversation. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Just having a conversation. Does I'm not sure if you've been briefed on the situation. I guess not you were really just called not. out, but yeah. I'm just sitting here minding my own business in a church parking lot. Uh, this officer is tell basically telling me that I can't be here, that I'm trespassing. And I asked okay. him, well, did the owners of the church say that I have to leave and he yeah. said no that it was a neighbor that called them so I'm, I'm confused as to why a neighbor is calling cops on me when well I think the neighbor was a little bit concerned that there was somebody I guess how long have you been here just a while I've been here for a while actually okay. since since last night I camped out here since last oh, night okay so, so you kind of slept here in a car yeah okay cool yeah yeah I know that I guess somebody picked up on that and uh -huh. they were I guess a little worried because they saw some people or I guess it's just you yeah. it's, just, it's just me so they saw somebody sitting in the car and they wanted us to come check on and make sure that, that you know they weren't doing anything illegal or anything like that uh -huh. uh, we did we did make contact with the people from the church I think there was somebody that was going to come out here and, and, and talk I guess and see if it was okay for you to be out here and, okay uh, they said that there wasn't supposed to be anybody on on the on the premise at the time so Okay. Um, that's kind of why we're why we're here and trying to figure out why you were here. And I understand. Sort of thing, so I understand. Um, not too big of a deal, but uh, yeah. Well, I, I'll be honest with you. It would make it a whole lot easier if I could just get a name from you to give to the church to to because if they if they can if they know you yeah then if if I tell them your name and they know you then they can say yeah he's good and, yeah. And then we our way yeah get out of your way. I, I appreciate your uh, professionalism and everything like that sir but i'd rather talk to them directly okay. um you know when you guys get information like that you log it in your system and then you know my name's in the system for not even committing a crime but you have record of it so there's if there's other issues you guys will have more clout to put more suspicion on me well, so i no, just no, no, i can tell you that we don't do that so we don't, we okay. don't use stuff for that kind of reason so I okay mean, Everything we do is documented in every, I mean, I mean, I've got a camera, he's got a camera, we, we all got cameras. We all got cameras, yeah. Yeah, so everything we do is documented, but we don't use it against people to hold against people for that for that purpose, like you are talking about. I understand. Um, we identify everybody that we talk to just for, for you know, a kind of across the board, just to, for the purpose of identifying everybody. Um, and, and it's mostly just to, to figure out who we're talking to, and, and, and yeah, there's obviously to make sure that, you know, that you don't have any situation like you had a warrant or something like that or anything, you know, anything going on there, um, you know, because, again, you know, we don't know who you are and you don't know who we are, so that's why we that's why we come out and talk and try to figure out who you are and make sure you're all good. And quite honestly, I, you haven't done anything wrong other than being in the parking lot at this point, and that's why we're having the church come out and, and verify it. If you're allowed to be here, if you're allowed to stay, and if you are, that's great. If not, then uh, okay. 
then we'll go from there. Yeah, I've been here for months. Like several, uh, occasionally I come here, uh, and I've been doing that for months. So do you I'm, live around there? I mean, I, I guess you're living. No, I, I do live out my vehicle, okay. in, and I go to different churches for yeah. for sanctuary. I do work. I do have income, but I'm okay. just trying to get back on my feet. Where you work at? Um, it's a mechanic shop in Galveston. It's called Automotive Professionals. Okay. You so all the way down Galveston from here? Well, it's the only work that I could I could get. So I, you know, I have to take I that. You'd stay probably someplace a little closer to your work. So well. You I used to work in, in Kima, and I, I would frequent coming out yeah. to this area because I like the parks around here and stuff like that. So yeah. that's why I like coming that's out here. Nice area around here right? Yeah, it is. So I enjoy <laughs> I the peace. I don't blame you there. I can't blame you at all. Yeah. So, so uh, you just kind of bounce around from parking lot to parking lot. Yeah, until I can get my own place, I, I prefer staying out my vehicle and yeah. just having peace to myself, staying that's out of right. trouble, and that's that's, that's, right. that's all it is. Yeah. I'm just noticing a trend of just having a lot. I've had a, a lot of uh, law enforcement encounters. Yeah. Um, so I'm just, is it mostly just because you parked in the parking lot? or? Well, yeah, my understanding, churches are supposed to be places of sanctuary. It's kind of shocking that nobody in a church would come out and ask me, hey, you know, yeah. what's your situation? Is there anything yeah. we can do? And, you know, the kind of, that is the unfortunate part sometimes is that is that how it, that's probably how it should be, but it doesn't always work out that way. Um, you know, I mean, everybody, people that work in churches are human, too, and, and obviously they have a, a, a vested interest in their property and their building, just like everybody okay, else Okay, sir, so. I just spoke with the representative of the church, and he has asked me to ask you to leave his property in his stead. Okay. Yeah, um, do you well, know the name of the representative of the church? Did you catch he, his name? He, he's the representative of the church, so I'm asking you to leave. Okay, because I was going to try to contact that person later. Do you okay. know that person's name that you spoke to? When, when they're business you can probably come up here and ask for somebody so yeah, i understand the easiest thing to do yeah. is this whenever you if you're coming back through mm -hmm. you come back through on a business day because they're open during the day yeah. okay told me he doesn't have any appointments they're closed yeah. that you and i and I, I tried he asked me who you were and i said well you refuse to identify yourself so i don't know who you are uh -huh. so he's asking that you leave so i need you to get in your vehicle and leave i will leave thank you i, I will leave you. sure I know. I'm going to get all that shit. Right. All right, let me get up out of here as soon as possible. People or something else. So they're in a rush to get me to leave. So there possibly may be some sort of uh, psychological offer. Uh, before I leave, can I get your information, uh, your name and your badge number and all that? I'm Officer Simons. Officer Simons, what's your badge number? One seven seven. One seven seven. Okay. Yeah. What's your? Leave the, the facility, sir. I can't. I can't get the oh, rest. Yeah. yeah. My name is Officer Arnold. Okay. Thank you, Officer Arnold. And, sir, what is your name? Sergeant Ashton, 46. Okay, thank you. Have a good day, brother. All right. Thank you. So, they have it all blocked up. Yeah, they're going to have to take your stuff. Yeah, they're going to have to take your stuff. Yeah, they're going to have to take your stuff. So, they have it all blocked off over there so that I don't leave out. Well, actually, I can turn this way and leave out this way. So, usually, when they do it like that, when they're in a rush to get you off the property, there's some sort of psychological operation that they have set up, set up on the road. So, I'm just being vigilant and watchful of that. And these people are hell bent on just disrupting your peace and <laughs> Oh man, this stuff is just so crazy. And you guys see firsthand the stuff that I have to deal with and the problems that I have. And the name of this church, I'm gonna get the name of it. It's called First Church. This road is FM 518. It's the first church. I think it's a Baptist church, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll get the name of it. And he just said and spoke to that uh, uh, the so-called representative of the church, as he called it. And they said that I had to leave. Didn't get the person's name or anything like that. And the way he probably worded his conversation was in such a manner that I was probably here maybe trying to rob the place or something like that. And I, I clearly told him that I have no problem. Um, so this is First Church, Pastor Ken Gurley. Okay, at 18, uh, it's FM 518. It's 1850 FM 518 is the, is the road that I'm on, and that's the address. So, yeah. 
I'm gonna pull over somewhere so I can get my uh they need to they need to uh ticket these uh gang stalkers that they have speeding up and down the street. They sit up there worried about me. You have these gang stalkers that roll around. You know what? Isn't there like a fire department up here? I'm gonna go park at the fire department. No, as a matter of fact, that was Pearland Police. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out where the Pearland Police Department is and I'm gonna go park over there. Because as you all know, the uh, the police departments are public property, okay? Police departments are public property. Today is the 4th of July. Today is one of their ritual days. So, you know, they got to, you know, they got to mess with T.I.s a whole lot harder on their ritual days. So, uh, I believe that's a fire department right there. Yeah, that's the fire department right there. So, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to park at the fire department and I see, uh, I see that there are Paraland police vehicles right there. So that's the second time I've ever had an encounter with Paraland police. So it's the 4th of July. It's their, you know, this is one of their, their satanic uh, ritual days. So they got to, they got to go in hard on, on uh, the children of the most high. You know. The Bible says you should you should you should flee away from wickedness. Don't be a part of wickedness. If your left hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Well, it looks like this one's gated, so I don't think I can park over here. I sure was gonna pull up in it. You know what? There might be parking on the back of it. <laughs> we got it. This we're at the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, uh, church grounds now. I'm only gonna park here real quick just to. Um, to get my car situated and stuff like that and then I'm gonna leave it says stopping stand no stopping standing or parking okay Jehovah's Witness place is right over here I'm well aware of who the Jehovah's Witnesses are and stuff like that so I'm not gonna be here long I'm just simply gonna park so that I can sort out my vehicle and kind of arrange things so I can get to a better area <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is so ridiculous. This is super ridiculous. Okay. Let me, uh, I think I'll back in over here. Got some nice little birds on the other side of that fence. <sighs> There's no rest, people. I mean, when I try to tell you people, you know, it doesn't matter if you get a job. You know, these people mess with you on the job. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter. You could be the, 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 a model employee and just be a, a good, just be your natural self. Uh, you know, us TIs is being our natural selves. We're angels. We're good people. And it doesn't matter. They don't, they don't care about that. You know, they just, they don't want us here, period. They want us dead is what they want. Just like when my father was being was uh, being driven to the um, you know to uh, the burial ground, and they tried to run him off the road. These people will still harass you even on the day of your death, even on the day of your burial. You know that's how much they they hate us that they don't want us here on this earth. Now I have not done anything to warrant all of this attention. Yes, I do stand up for myself. Yes, I don't let these perps get the best of me. And I don't let them bully me or run over me. You know what I'm saying? I, I always stand up for myself. And I speak... Excuse me. I speak up for myself. So, I, I'm not doing any wrong at all. But simply being bold as a lion. As it says in scripture to do. The righteous are as bold as a lion. So... I'm like, dang, I don't even do no activism or anything like that. You know, you, you think that somebody who was an activist or something would, would get this much harassment and bullying and things of that nature, but no. But you have to realize the 4th of July, that's why the Most High does not want us to celebrate these holidays. All of these are, are pagan-rooted holidays. 
You know, they're, they're, they are, a lot of them are man-made and some of them are rooted back into paganism. This 4th of July crap, this uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween, President's Day, you know, all those days mean something in the occult. And you have a lot of these idiots that go around happily celebrating and popping fireworks and waving flags in the air and all that kind of crap. Not realizing that they're indulging in a form of pagan worship, idolatry, you know. I was I, I really wanted to uh, get far away from any of that celebration. I didn't even want to see no fireworks. So you know what? I might I might just go ahead and stay parked in this parking lot. And uh, if someone calls, hey, they just call. But if this parking lot's kind of hidden, and uh, I'm just minding my own business. I'm just minding my own business. You know, they they put so much fear in society. And on the news about, oh, people shooting up churches and all that kind of crap. When they don't realize that the government, these secret societies, these, these uh, Freemasons, they all set these things up. So that they can instill fear in people. So that you don't, so that you're, you're always suspecting your neighbor. Always in suspicion of your neighbor or in suspicion of a stranger. You know, doesn't it say in scripture to be, uh, to... Be careful of who you under, uh, entertain because you may have uh, entertained an angel unawares. These people don't know who they're doing this stuff to. And I'm not saying that I'm an angel or anything like that. Hell, I could be. I, I might as well be as much as harassment and, and trouble that I get on this planet. And I see the wickedness and evil so clearly and it disgusts me. It's like I don't want to be part of it. Like I'm ready to get the hell up out of here big time. I don't want no part of it because these people are so plugged in, they are beyond the realm of help. And that's all I see, no matter how much you can talk to them, no matter how much influence you can be, just by being a good person and, um, you know, trying to set a good example and things of that nature. Everywhere that I go is like I'm, I'm always constantly having to prove myself and I, I don't, I shouldn't have to prove myself to nobody but the most high. These people constantly will throw tests at me. They'll set up psyops just so they can point the finger and say, aha, look, we told you he was evil. We told you he was a bad guy. We told you he was a, a killer or, or whatever lie they come up with. The scripture says that Satan is the accuser of brethren. And these people taking the likeness of their father, Satan, because that's what they go around doing, pointing the finger and accusing you of something. Them cops came to that church in suspicion of what? Me just sitting in the parking lot? Minding my own business. I wasn't by nobody's gate or fence. I wasn't even out walking around. I was in my car. And I've been going to that church for months. I've been going to that church. And parking in that same spot. That same spot. You know. So again. You got to look at what day it is. You got to look at the situation. And who we're dealing with. To really understand what's going on here. Be very careful on their pagan days, these so-called holidays that they like to get together and, and, and celebrate because they will go after you. They will try to get you locked up. They will try to get you in a mental facility. You know, they will they will give you hell on those days. So just just be weary of that and, 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 and pay attention to what I'm telling you. Wait till the next holiday comes around. What is this, July? What is the next holiday that's supposed to come up? What, uh, is it uh, Halloween in October or something like that? Definitely beware on Halloween, especially Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh, they work quadruple time to try to get you locked up. That's the trend that I've been seeing. Every year it happens like clockwork. So now I'm going to have to make sure that I have an actual place to be in instead of being in my car out in some parking lot on those days. The... It, it, the week of Thanksgiving and the week of Christmas, beware, is all I'm saying. And this is just ridiculous. Like, I don't get and understand, you know. It, I get and understand. I know I keep saying that. Uh, you know, ultimately, I know what it is. You know what I mean? But it's just like, it's just so frustrating. You know, you can't get help from nobody. You know what I mean? And then when you do get help from somebody, a lot of times they're a perp. You know, trying to take advantage of you or trying to um, have some type of alternative, ulterior motive or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous. At least they didn't roll up on me this time while I was asleep. I was just up, you know, looking off at my phone and stuff like that. 
it was like four police what let me see one two three four possibly five of those five possibly five i'm not for sure but i know they were four for sure that came out to that church <laughs> an empty church parking lot with just one car and one man you know the initial dude he, he straight didn't even look human I, i'm 100 percent sure that dude wasn't even human the other cop that talked to me a little bit longer you know he was real cool you know he just but see i don't trust any of them even the ones that 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 act like they're cool and nice because you have to understand a lot of these law enforcement and, and federal agents and just people that work in government uh in, in the law enforcement uh, uh sector a lot of these people are part of fraternal organizations and secret societies and the, the scripture says that uh, the devil can appear to you as an angel of light. So these people have to play both sides. You know, Freemasonry, anything Masonic, black and white, red and blue. You know, it's double-sided. It's it's everything is by this and by that. You know, um, they have to play both sides in order to be able to trick you. That's how the devil works. The devil's not just going to reveal himself in all truth and just be mean and ugly and hateful. No. He's got to add that niceness in there because that's how he reels you in before he uh, ultimately tricks you into being destroyed. <laughs> so, man, I, I just don't know what else to do. Um, I don't think you guys understand. Even if I go to a shelter, okay, I go into the shelter, I go sleep, I come, I come back to my car, my car's being sabotaged. Or the water that I have in my car has been opened up and tainted. Or uh, 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 oil has been placed in my fuel injectors. You know, these are the things that I experience. So when people tell me, oh, you need to get somewhere and just be inside somebody's house or something like that, these people, they don't stop. I am truly being targeted. This is not, a lot of you people are in the comfort of your own homes and, 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 and still have places to sleep and stuff like that. So it's real easy for you to say, oh, why don't you, why don't you go, you know, go to a shelter or get a room or something like that. I don't have the money to, to I can't afford to get a room. I'm trying to save as much money as I possibly can to keep myself surviving. I just don't have the money for it. These people do not let me keep a job long enough to be able to save up enough to get my own place. That was the longest that I've had a job for a while working at that canine resort. I was there for six months. I pat myself on the back for that one. I didn't even think I'd last two months. But by the grace of the Heavenly Father, you know, he allowed me to, 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 to be there longer to, uh, you know, to, to have, uh, you know, to have a little bit more income. These people, they have their hands in everything. So if y'all can't help me, you know, if, if, you know, nobody can help me financially or, you know, or anything like that, that's totally fine. I just mainly I just ask for prayers. That's all, because I know there there's powers and numbers. And, you know, the more people you have praying for you, the better. So I just I just ask for prayer. That's all. You know, I don't push the, the whole donation thing or anything like that, because the father, he he always makes ways for me. So just pray for me. That's all I ask. I'm in this Jehovah's Witness parking lot now. I, I didn't even know this place was back here, but I'm going to see how long I can stay here um, before I end up getting kicked out, of, kicked out of here. And it's a very hot day. It is very hot today. I have no working AC. You know, my uh, heater has not even been working. So I'm just doing the best that I can to survive. That's all. And... I love y'all. I hope y'all, I hope at least y'all are having a better day. And, um, yeah, that's, that's about it. I will never bow down to these people. I will never, ever join them. And they know that, so that's why they give me hell. And I, in turn, give them hell by standing up to their BS, by not letting them get the best of me, by not letting them run over me. You know what I mean? I have no fear of these people, and they know that. And they know that. So, all praises and glory be unto the Father in heaven. All praises and glory be unto the Creator. You know, it's sometimes the, the Bible is questionable. A lot of things that are written in there about turning your cheek to the to the enemy and um, loving your enemy. I, I just, I can't, I, I don't love my enemy. I don't love someone who systematically is destroying my family's life. I can care less what they do to me personally because I'm a soldier. I can take it. But to see my family have to suffer, that is the worst thing for me. To hear about my brother having to suffer, to hear about my sisters having to suffer, especially my mother.
who's in a nursing home and they're mistreating her and I have to go there and hear about that stuff. It's, it's, it's just it's amazing how I've just lasted this long mentally. The child that I cared for, that I thought was my kid, the, the, the child that I watched them satanically, ritually abuse and keep him from getting sound sleep and developing properly. These are the things that they do to us as children. Satanic ritual abuse. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to see stuff like that happen to people uh, uh, that, that, that are helpless. You know? Ah. This stuff is just, it's just insane. It is just insane. I'm totally capable of working, of having a job. I am of sound mind, body, soul, and spirit. You know, I have, I have the ability to work and uh, to have income, but these people, you know, they don't, they don't let you make it. They don't let you make it. You got people at your job that are setting you up on psychological operations. People that'll smile and grin and laugh in your face and act like they're your friend and they're on your side. But when you, as soon as you leave to go run errands, they're, they're plotting all kinds of evils against you. They're plotting all kinds of evils against you. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, I, I, I be, I, a lot of times I want to drop off the, uh, 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 three dimes and let them know that they've received their award. You know, wasn't it 30 shekels of silver that uh, uh, Judas accepted to betray Jesus? Just constant betrayal by people that will smile and grin in my face and act, and act like they're having a good time with me. But then as soon as I leave, you know, they're up to mischief. Feet that are swift to running to evil. They lurk, they hide, they conspire. That's what these people do. They wait for you in places that you know that you frequent, places that they know you like to shop. They sit up in the stores and they wait for you to go in there so they can cause some type of uh, altercation or provoke you to anger in some kind of way. Isn't that evil? They set themselves up, uh, up ahead on the road to try to have some type of vehicular uh, uh, psyop done on you. That is completely evil. These people.